This is our uh, 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle. And uh, I know uh, it was on my last update video for the pickup truck, but I thought I'd do a walk around specifically about this VW just to show everybody what uh, how, what kind of condition it's in and what we're going to do with it. And uh, sorry, it's in the lift area, so I'm going to be walking around and some things blocking the, the view and I might hit my head on something sooner or later, but who knows. So uh, this is pretty much how we bought it. It's a 1971 Super Beetle, like I said, with uh, approximately 58,000 original miles on it. This is not the original paint job. Uh, however, it is a uh, dang close match to what would be original back in 1971. And they did a pretty good job uh, from what I can see. A couple little errors, but that's the way it goes. And so, um, as you can see, Everything is in really good shape. We don't really have any dings or dents or anything like that, you know, on this hood, on this roof line. And um, the only thing that I've done to it so far, we've uh, put new brake shoes on, new wheel cylinders, a uh, new hardware kit on the brakes, and I've painted the the rims and polished the uh, uh, the hubcaps and cleaned the tires up a little bit. But that's pretty much it that I've done so far. And uh, so I'll, let me show you the uh, the trunk area, I mean the trunk, the engine area. Super clean, so you can see. And this car was originally set up from the dealership back in 71 with uh, air conditioning. And although the brackets and the compressor are missing, uh, many of the other components are still in here. Um, and you can see back in the corner, or in, back in here, that's where the AC lines would have gone back to the front to the uh, evaporator and condenser and so forth which are still in the car <clears throat> so we're gonna leave it um, we're not gonna put air conditioning back in it um, it'll be might be kinda tough finding all the correct brackets and so forth but let me show you the inside <clears throat> and then I'll show you the front area <clears throat> so the inside as you can see this is the way we bought it is all uh, completely remanned, manufactured, and uh, reupholstered, and everything like that. New door panels. The only thing they really didn't do on the inside was they didn't change the carpet or anything. And uh, the steering wheel itself, uh, we're going to change. Uh, we've got a lot of little like cracks and things and so forth. But here you can see the uh, the miles on it, and the miles match the uh, uh, the title. So I'm pretty confident that they're that they're accurate. And then into the back seat, you can see it's in absolutely really fantastic shape. So they reupholstered the back seat as well. So we got a little bit of glare coming through the uh, from the camera. Now <clears throat> let me walk around to the other side here. <clears throat> and so uh, as you can see on this side, everything is equally the same in, in great shape and um, you can see the AC vents that uh, came with the car uh, like I said we're gonna probably not uh, rehook that back up but we'll leave the unit in place and so uh, anyway let's see here now you can see the back a little bit better but it's in great shape headliner is a little bit a uh, little bit wonky but I, and I think it's the original headliner uh, so it's a little bit discolored but Ah, that's all right. It works pretty good. So let me go ahead and go around to the front here. So you can see when they did the paint job, they took the uh, the windshield out, the rear windows out. They did all of that and put new rubber seals and new trim all the way around. So we don't have any of those crazy paint lines or anything. Um, now let me get into the front here. <clears throat> A little bit dark right I guess it's not too dark uh, see so here's the the front trunk area looks really really clean as you get underneath and look in here spare tire everything looks really rust free and I'm not sure I'm gonna try to get underneath here and uh, see if you can see how clean it is underneath let's take a look here it might not get very good but a good shot but anyway Hardly any dings or dents. Floor, plant, floor pan is in great shape. 
no dents, no rust. And uh, so this is a prime candidate for what we're gonna do. And in case you were wondering what we're gonna do with it, we're going to convert it to an electric drive, uh, pure electric. So the engine's gonna go, that'll be removed, replaced with an electric motor. Um, and then back in here behind the rear seat underneath this shelf area will be one of the battery packs. And the battery packs are designed after a, a kind of like a Tesla design. And then the other battery pack will be up front here underneath this carpet is the uh, fuel tank so that will all be removed and be replaced with a, another battery pack <clears throat> excuse me another battery pack and so uh, everything will still be exactly the same we'll be able to keep the spare tire underneath the front the seating area in the in the cab will be uh, will be the same and so the only way anybody's going to know that it's uh, electric drive is they won't be able to hear an engine running so anyway so I'm looking forward to that we've got uh, part of the order for the electric uh, conversion on order it takes about six weeks they've got a, a backup of business at the EV West out of San Diego and so uh, um, probably won't be able to get to that until later on in the summer or after I get back on my trip but uh, so there you have it it's uh, that's gonna be our Volkswagen so uh, Everybody have a great weekend. Bye.